Miami and Virginia Tech. And this is a strange one, right? Um, fun, fun ball game, typically, but this one got relegated to like a regional sports network. It's on ESPN3. <coughs> Did not expect Miami in their first year with Mario Cristobal and Brent Pry with his first year with Virginia Tech to end up on just a streaming platform nationally. Like, I really thought that these two teams would be a little bit better than what they are. I uh, didn't expect big things, but my goodness. I mean, what has happened to these guys? Okay, so let's break it down. Let's go on and dive into it. Uh, as far as the trends go, Miami 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five against Virginia Tech, so that is certainly a trend to watch out for. Miami 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven on the road. They are 0-4 against the spread in their last four overall, so obviously things are trending downward there. Virginia Tech 2-7 and seven against the spread their last nine at home. They are also 0-4 against the spread uh, in their last four overall. It, it, not good things as far as Virginia Tech and Miami is concerned. This spread is Virginia Tech plus seven. 46 and a half is the total here. My numbers love Miami in this spot. Like, absolutely love them. Minus 14.53. Um, and, and I can understand some of that, right? The biggest thing is Miami, their defense is still really good against the run. And it, as far as the passing game is concerned, like their passing success rate, number 65, uh, their PBA per pass, not great, right? And a big part of that is passing explosiveness, which it looks like Virginia Tech might be able to take advantage of a little bit, but you can't do that consistently, uh, especially not with Grant Wells at quarterback. So I'm... I'm hesitant to lean that direction. As far as Miami's offense, they're not great, obviously. Number 86 PPA per pass, uh, number 78 PPA per rush. But you look at the rushing success rate, uh, there are ways that they can take advantage of what Virginia Tech is doing. Uh, Also throw in, when you look at turnover margin, that certainly favors uh, Miami over Virginia Tech. And penalties per game favors Miami over Virginia Tech as well. I I think, you know, you're talking about points per game is pretty good. Uh, I, I think that I'm going to have to go with Miami in the spot. I think that Tyler Van Dyke gets right. I think that there are ways that they can score, and Virginia Tech is just not going to be able to. I just don't see how they'll be able to score other than through explosive plays, and you're basically taking a risk every time you do that. So I will ride with Miami. Uh, as the favorite to cover seven on the road. And, of course, we're starting off with two. Uh, <laughs> we're starting off with two favorites, just like last week. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.